Hi, so I haven't made a YouTube video in so long, like so long, and I know I don't look the best right now, my excuse is I'm a student and it's exam season, um, but I just got an email this morning that was from my past self, I kind of hate the whole concept of it now, it's kind of cringe, there we go, it just says, dear future me, 2019 has been a has been rough so far and it's about time for a big change and I hope it has come for you. Here's a video I just recorded talking about everything I'm going through right now and have been going through the past year and I really hope you're doing better and it will be good to look back at how far you've come and it has a link to a YouTube video so I'm going to watch this video now and see what I think about it. It's 40 minutes. I can't believe I sat there for, I mean obviously since I edited it I would have been there for longer than 40 minutes, which is crazy. Hi. Well, I look a mess right now. That's the first thing I want to say. And the second thing I want to say is this isn't the messiest I've ever looked on YouTube or in my life. So that's fine. Basically, the situation is if you have no idea what's going on right now. I watched a video the other day, maybe it was like a week ago or something, where... Uh, Someone left themselves a message, I th and it was for two years in their case, but um, I want to leave myself a message for one year from now. All well, I can see is my room looks different now. Literally, I mean, the situation is The only picture that's crazy. actually left on my door. You, I, never I only have three pictures left on my so door. They've all like, fallen off, and I just haven't put them back yet. Of time. And Today then I have um, the 19th those. Of I have like Ivy or whatever. For the past year and a half. My life has been a complete mess, it's not been good, and I don't recommend. <laughs> um, nothing has really changed I'm not going to talk much. about 2020. Obviously, there's going to be a turning point at some point soon, and my life's going to just take off, and it's going to be crazy. So I just want to um, explain my whole situation and how I feel about life now, and then uh, I guess you'll get to compare right now to... A year from now. It's kind of crazy to think about, honestly. This is going to get deep, by the way. And if you make a YouTube video about this, um, for anyone watching, good luck to you, because this is about to get deep. And it's something that I haven't <laughs> talked about right now. Basically, in 2013, kind of after I left high school, oh, no. school, and it was the summer before... Straight into it. You guys don't need to know my whole life story, so I'm going to skip through this bit and just see what the... Uh, conclusion of it was. I just sat and watched a bunch of the end of that and honestly I went through some things last year. Like last year was 2019 wasn't a good year and I really went through some bits but like here we are 2020 baby. I haven't said what the my whole like life story or whatever was. Uh, basically mental illness. Mental illness is a thing in my life and it's been here for a while. Um, but you know I'm doing a lot better than I was last year. It's not really much of a problem anymore. Well, obviously it's still a problem, but like, I'm used to things now and things are a lot better for me. Now that I think that's over, I'm just going to talk about school jobs university. Okay, so obviously I've spoken about this before a little bit. Um, I don't have the grades to get into uni. I don't want to go to college because I went once. I started a college course once, I hated it, I just didn't like the college environment and I quit. So I honestly don't know what I want to do anymore. I did originally want to study film at university. But now, since I can't go to university and I don't want to go to college, I don't know what I'm going to do about it. I, do I even want to do? Do I even want to study film anymore? Do I want to be a director or a cinematographer or whatever I had originally planned on? Like, do I want that? I don't. I don't know what I want anymore. And I guess I'm not really in the position. I'm not really in a good position to think about this at this point. I don't think because if I can't live my life day to day and be fairly content with it, then how can I possibly imagine what I'd want my working life to be like, or my life of education? 
I don't know. <laughs> Why are they talking like this? Job. As for jobs, I will probably end up getting a job at some point because I should start getting money and saving up money and doing something. Right I still now, agree. I, do it. I don't feel comfortable enough to do that yet. So I said that I didn't want to go to college and I would probably want to have a job. It turns out I do go to college and I originally applied for like film stuff but then I changed to business. So I'm a business student. <laughs> That's what I've been doing since um, September and um, it's going well. I'm not failing yet, although I do have all my exams now, so I guess I'm about to find out. Uh, I haven't got a job. You know, the whole um, events of 2020 probably makes it a little harder to actually get a job, but like, I just don't feel like it yet. So, um, I guess maybe next year I might have a job. I'm going to upgrade myself. Hopefully I'm going to have my, I'm gonna have a good haircut by then. I'm going to get a haircut soon, I promise. But that's kind of, I think that's literally it. I didn't, I haven't really imagined what my life will be like in a year's time or what it could be like. But I just hope that um, looking back, so much has changed, so much has happened. Uh, and my life will be so much happier. Right now, I'm kind of at a completely new point in my life in the past month or two. I've really found myself, I really feel comfortable in myself, I've accepted myself and mentally, like emotionally and mental health wise, I'm doing pretty good at the moment. Like I'm doing very good. I wake up some days and I feel completely normal. So I think what I was saying was that over the next year I wanted to like glow up and, fi and like sort some issues out and I mean I have done that, well, I mean I think I've glowed up. I've had a bit of a glow up in the past year. I look um, different and um, my style is a bit different to last year. I don't really know what my life was like then, I can't remember. But, you know, my room is filled with plants. I have different clothes. I listen to different music. I do different things with my spare time. So I guess I have had some sort of development going on there. Oh my god, I talk so weird now. Oh, and yeah, I said that I was feeling... I woke up and I would feel normal sometimes. <laughs> I really was going through a few things here and there last year, but... Yeah, I wake up and I feel normal now. Yeah, so then I talked about how... At that point, I had um, accepted myself and I knew who I was. And, you know, that's still true. Um... I'm still like that, I think differently from, like, last year something just clicked. Like, it took the whole year, but then something just clicked and then suddenly I thought differently about myself and the world. And we're still here like that. A big part of it is trying to not judge and try and be positive. I really hope I go to Summer in the City next year. I hope I can do that because it seems like such fun. About that. <laughs> 2020 says no. Yeah, I didn't go to summer in the city. It didn't even happen. There's a global pandemic. People are dying. There's disease. It's a normal thing to wear a face mask. And not the skin face masks. Face masks that stop you spreading diseases. Those kind of face masks. That's a normal thing. Oh, I was talking about me doing social media stuff. And, um, I think it was the start of 2020. <laughs> It's funny to think about now, but I made a lot of TikToks then, and I was, I was like getting followers on TikTok, and then I joined a TikTok house. I mean, it wasn't a house, but it was like a group TikTok account. It was a TikTok group. I was in a TikTok group at the start of 2020. It fell apart within like two months, but that was a thing that happened, and then I just stopped making TikToks, and I haven't made any since. I think in this video, I talked a bunch about how at that point I wanted to do a lot more stuff on social media because I enjoyed it. And I did do a bunch of YouTube videos and TikToks for a few months and then I just stopped it for some reason, I don't know. I still want to do more stuff um, 
on social media. I've been meaning to get back to it recently. I think I'm actually going to post this video and then I do have a bunch of videos that I actually have planned to do but like I just haven't gotten around to making them yet. They'll be coming soon I promise and I might come back to TikTok soon. I will, I will, I need to come back to TikTok soon. And I'm not in the worst place that I've been in life right now, which is good. I seem to think that I'm going to hit some sort of turning point. Am I suddenly going to completely change? But I feel like I might have already hit that turning point, or I'm at it right now. I think I might have hit it the day I realised that I've changed and I've developed as a person, and I can be negative, I can be positive, and I can be hopeful and optimistic about life. So maybe I'm on the Maybe in my graph of life, I, I, obviously it's always like this, but uh, from on a general graph of my life, obviously there'll be like the ups and downs of high school, and then there'll be the plummet, slutchy vertical, and then we hit summer, and then obviously it was a bit shaky as time went on, but I think I've really, obviously that would be, that wasn't the turning point, it's just like a flat level thing, and then suddenly... I hit the point where I realised that I've changed and developed and now we're starting our way up. Hopefully it will just hopefully it won't just go like that because mm. as great as that would be, it'd be great to just wake up one day and be completely fine. I would like there to be a process where um I'll slowly just get back to life and I'll get used to life changing and getting back to normal. I think the turning point in my life was actually when I, what, the day where I suddenly realised that if I changed my mindset then I could change my life and that happened. That was the, the turning point. Um, and yeah, it wasn't, everything didn't suddenly change on a day, on a certain day. Uh, things happened slowly. And here we are. We're thriving. So basically, I finished the video off by talking about how I hoped my life, which is now, would be different to what it was before, and it would be so much better. And you know what it is. I'm gonna finish this video off by saying what I would like to see my life being like in a year's time from now, because I may as well keep doing this. Um, in a year's time, I think I'm probably still going to be in college studying business because I enjoy it and I really don't see myself being able to do anything else because I can't just suddenly get a job and not like a proper job uh, and have a career so I think I'll still be in education in a year. I would like to potentially move out because um, me, and, if, me and my friend have been talking about uh, moving in together next year, which would be funny. Um, that would be good. That'd be nice. I guess I need to wait and see um, what happens, but you know, I might move out next year. I'll probably still be in education. I think it's probably a good idea to actually get a job so I can get some money. Uh, I think I am maybe going to do a bunch, do more social media stuff over the next year. And I think that's it for the for this video. Um, it got really deep and very personal at some points, so I am not going to have them in this video. You know, it was good to watch over and see what my life was like then and what it's like now. And it's interesting to think about the future. Obviously, I'm not setting big goals for myself or anything. I'm just kind of, right now, I'm just kind of like, well, you know, whatever happens, happens and I'm going to be in a different place next year probably so um, that can only be a good thing. So yeah that is this video over. Um, I'm not going to ask you to subscribe or like or anything, I don't care. Um, but I do have some new videos coming up soon, I promise they will be coming out um, and I'm just going to leave. Oh, bye. <laughs>